Good evening. Welcome back to another video. Hello, everybody. God bless you. Today is June 1st, 2024, and it is a Saturday. So it is Jolly Saturday here in the Beauty Room. Yes. Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to the Beauty Room family. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to another video. God bless you all. Hope you're all having a safe and a wonderful weekend. And we're going to get started into the video, but I just want to show you the items that I've been highly requested to show here on my channel. So using the Craft Square Dollar Tree, um, like rubbers, clear stamps, and the ink pad to see how well they work. So we're going to do that in a demonstration. But before I do, make sure you sit back, relax, watch this video with something to drink of your choice and a good delicious snack of your choice something to drink and take notes if you want so the next time if you're out and about or running errands you have a dollar tree near you definitely stop in for their clear rubber um, rubber stamps you get up to 12 and the one pack here with a pretty butterfly and like that one and then this one is just a for thank you um let's, let's say, say thank you for all you do uh, I'm touched by your words and thank you again thanks thank you thankful thanks a lot and appreciate you and the the ink pad this is in black so this is the ink pad black so it comes with the protector so that way your ink will not run dry out on you so we're going to demonstrate that right now so yeah I hope you all are having a great amazing weekend and today is Saturday it is jolly i'm sorry it's not jolly yeah it's jolly saturday here in the beauty room so excuse me the words i'm trying to say but right here in this area right here is just my nail stuff that i'm going to do another video on so it's just a little sneak peek so excuse that in the background excuse everything else in the background i'm so sorry but this is the beauty room this is how my room is so it's real life and this you know how it looks it's not messy in here so thank god for that but i'm cleaning it out trying to get some things cleared out but yeah let's get started into this a demonstration of dollar tree rubber stamps and ink pad or how they use so that way you can have a demonstration that way you can see how it actually works and if you want to stop into your dollar tree and get them you're more than welcome to so we're going to show you right now so i'm going to show you how this one is with the butterfly they're the rubber clear stamps so if you hear Hamilton in the background I'm sorry he's playing his video game today he's just relaxing and we ran we did some errands today earlier today so that'll be in another video coming soon so that way you all can see you know what I've got yeah so that'll be in an upcoming video pretty soon and how are you all doing today did you all have a good weekend are you just starting your weekend or are you on vacation you know with the kiddos you know I know the kids are our summer break is almost coming up pretty soon and if they didn't have their summer break yet is the next week or whichever so yeah we're gonna start off let's see which one should i use i should use what's this one this one says amazing so let's make sure this one is with this one yeah this one is amazing so oh i should start off with the flower i think that'll be pretty wouldn't it be? you know you know i'm gonna start off with the amazing because it's already rubbed off so i'm gonna start off with this one this one says amazing so you just put the this rubber ink um stamp onto this right here and everything the items were are um were a dollar 25 so all right so and this is the protector to keep your ink um stayed you know not wet i mean to get dried out so that way this won't dry out so always get these from the dollar tree or whichever michael's michael's craft store or you can go to joanne fabric store and get these from dollar tree which is a dollar 25 or you can go into amazon also well and get the whole entire pack the whole, the whole color pack with the ink pads and i believe they come with the protector the plastic protectors so that way you'll ink your ink won't dry out okay so i got my ink on there 
so I'm going to try another rubber stamp when I'm done showing you. So my ink pad is right here. And this is my paper. This is just some printer paper that I've gotten, you know, from uh, about a month ago from Walmart. Which was under $10. So I just got a few sheets. I wanted to make sure, excuse me, I had enough sheets so that way I can see how it looks. So we're just going to try it out. See how it looks. So hope you can see it. Okay. Alright, so we're going to just put this rubber clear stamp on here. Oh, let's turn it around this way. Oh, sorry if I'm shaking you. So, just kind of put it on there a good amount. Ink. You can use like a, you can use, let's see, can I, how can I say? Hmm, what can, you can use like your craft tool or whatever to make sure the ink is on here. Um, it definitely wipes off with your finger if you get any ink onto your finger. So let's see if I have enough on here. No, like I do, but I'll get a little bit more. And then I just got this ink pad from Dollar Tree a few weeks ago, with also with the clear stamp. So let's try this out. Let's see how it looks. Hope it's good. Oh yeah. Oh, kind of. Let's try it one more time because. Everything else came out besides just a few words. So, try it one more time. Just give it a really good push on here. But when you go to your Michael's Craft Store or your Joanne's Fabric Store or whatever fabric store, um, craft store that you have in your city and state, you know, definitely check it out. Or if you know the owner or whichever, you know, that's awesome and cool. So, let's try it one more time. And then just let it sit there for a good second or so not too long remove it huh, well it kind of works but so let's look at it and just see so you can see how it looks then this says amazing there you go says amazing so let's try another ink pad let's see here let's try a butterfly I love butterflies so let's try some butterflies and then I believe to wash the ink off of your rubber pad just use some mild dish soap you know definitely do that and a, a, a like a not a washcloth but a but a microfiber towel yeah so definitely use that to wipe it off or maybe try some alcohol some alcohol and then use like some um, alcohol pads or or wipes I'm sorry alcohol wipes and just make sure your ink is all over your rubber ink your rubber stamp here make sure it's all covered up maybe that was my problem in the first place I didn't get it all I think I got this one all let me just make sure I didn't get this side good enough just make sure you get the sides all sides all around your rubber stamp really good and it looks like I did and you can use like a tweezer that's what I meant to say like a craft tweezer or some kind of tweezer that you have in your crafting room okay just leave it on there for a second or so and see I have a little ink on my finger so but it will get off with some dish soap and get some hot water or warm water actually not hot you don't want to burn your hands all right <gasps> Oh, that one came out cute. Oh, my goodness. This is a butterfly. Oh, my goodness. That is so adorable and cute. That's the butterfly. And then you can use those Crayola colored pencils from Walmart or Target, whichever store you go to. Color it in. You know, make a pretty butterfly, whatever color. This would be good for you and the you know, kids, like a crafting day. Or if you are at a home parent, you know, teacher. And yeah, that would be a very good idea. You know, I have like a craft day in your home when you're teaching your children. That would be so cool. And then they can, you know, hang it on their wall in their room. Be like, oh, I did this with my mom. Or I did this with my dad, too. <laughs> Kids be getting so excited about the little stuff. And I think that is just so adorable to me. And let's use the thank you so much stamp. We're going to use this one. This one says... Thank you so much. And that's for you all because I thank you all so much. So I just want to try it out. Make sure you get all the sides of your 
cleared rubber stamp make sure it's all wet and colored i mean coated or whichever color i just like to use black because i can color it in with some colored pencils crayola pencils or it's called the arts craft color colored pencils by walmart or any brand that you see at target also as well but check online first before you go out and about but if you are already out and about you know you have a target near you in your area and city state like near like across from your mall or near your mall or a little plaza area you know they have different other stores like burlington ross or marshall's or td max and you have a target and a walmart because in a different city you know in the same same state of michigan where or hamilton i live <clears throat> um we have a walmart and a target and those two stores are my main to go stores that i love to go in so we're gonna make our way in about going there probably in a couple of weeks because we guys we still have to get stuff believe it or not we still have to get stuff for the wedding believe it or not <laughs> yes we still have to get a little stuff for the wedding not too much but mostly uh, hamilton stuff and then I, I gotta get like one thing or two for me and that's really about all but this one says thank you so much i hope you all can see it but yeah um i hope you enjoyed this i'm gonna do one more so that way you all can you know really really get it. let's see should i do a flower or something or a daisy yeah that's, ooh, let's let's do a daisy that'd be pretty and then you just put these back on to your picture you know rubber stamp paper and then you let these dry out for like a day or two so where they can be completely dry and put them on like on a towel or a paper towel i will i will put a paper towel onto my kitchen counter and then i'll put a towel on top of my paper towel so that way or i, I put the, the towel first and then i put the paper towel so that way nothing won't go onto my towel it, even though that's washable you know what i mean but still, you know, anything could happen. So, like the wetness or whatever from the rubber stamp or whatever. Okay, let's get this one more time. Got to make sure it's all the way in with Dollar Tree ink pads. You got to make sure you get it really, really good. Okay. So. Alright. So, that is coated real good. And this is the daisy that I'm using. Let's put it right on the paper. Put it on there really good. Clear it on off. All right, it showed it a little bit, but yeah, that's the daisy. You can see it. I hope so. That's the daisy, amazing, and with the butterfly. And it's gonna say thank you so much. And that's the daisy flower on to the right hand side. Yeah, and then you just color it in, like I said, with the colored pencils, or you can leave it black. You can definitely use some small scissors that I got from Amazon, which is these right here. After you colored it, after you colored your design, whichever you use from your rubber stamp collection, take these small scissors and cut it out very, very good. Put it onto like a canvas from the like the Dollar Tree, and then make a nice your do-it-yourself frame with these type of designs of the clear rubber stamps from Dollar Tree yeah and that'd be a cute you know frame and then um, you can hook it on the hook or whichever you know that'd be so cool to have in your room your office or your kids room just do like an arts and crafts day with your children or whatever that you do in your home so I gotta put this back on here so the ink won't dry out and it was it was okay I give it a three out of five so I, I give it a three out of five with the, the dollar tree ink pad but these are so awesome i really love these from the dollar tree so definitely if you have a dollar tree new you go in there i'm telling you i highly recommend that you go into your dollar tree check out to see what items that you prefer to pick out you know for your craft day for your for your if you're a teacher for your students or for your children at home if you're teaching them at home 
you know, or just to have a nice crafts day, you know, with your family, you know, your kids, and, and everybody to enjoy their craft day or whatever. But yeah, go for just a dollar twenty-five each from a Dollar Tree. I definitely hope you liked and enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, comment, like, and subscribe to the B Room. Please tell your family and friends about the B Room. So if they are considering subscribing, it's totally free when you do. So thank you all so 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 much. God bless you all. I love you all so much to the moon and back. You all are the most wonderful people in my world here in the YouTube world channel slash channel and thank you all so much for supporting and leaving me some nice wonderful comments that i reply to thank you all so so much and definitely make sure you turn on and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload from me the beauty room before i go let's say a quick prayer Heavenly Father Jesus, we thank you for another day, allowing us to see this day, God. We thank you for who you are and what you are in the head of our lives. We thank you for your love and your protection for our significant other, our soulmates, our partners, our children, ourselves, our home, our work, our work area, our workforce, where we work out in the world. God, we just thank you for our, our co-workers and managers, supervisors team leads i thank you for my co-workers that i work with at my at my current job i thank you for each and every one of them oh lord just giving me a chance to work at the company god just thank you for who you are for always protecting us getting us all safe to work at night and getting us all home safely when no hurt harm or danger on the highways and byways thank you god for who you are god continue to bless our loved ones our family our friends their relationships their marriages god bless this whole entire world oh father god this earth god just continue let us all to have patience 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 and be kind to one another god because in this time in this world we do need patience and kindness, oh, Father God, from each and every person. God, I just thank you for each and every day, allowing us to see it and allowing us to see at night and going home safe, safely to our loved ones, our significant other and our soulmates partners and our children now we just thank you for every little thing you've given us oh god we just thank you for the bigger things and blessings that are coming to us oh father god we just thank you thank you thank you and god i ask you to always keep my beauty room family and new subscribers safely in their homes outside their homes having a wonderful family life with their family and blessing their children and blessing their soulmates and themselves god i just thank you for each and every Every, every day that you give us, oh Lord, continue to protect my beauty room family and new subscribers each and every day, oh Father God. In Jesus' name I ask, amen. And bless my, my co-workers as well that I work with, my managers and team leads and their families and their children and their significant others. God, continue to bless them in Jesus' name, amen. So, if you all said the prayer with me, thank you all so, so much. Sorry, it was a very, very long, long prayer. I hope it wasn't. So, God bless you all. Have a wonderful and safe weekend. And today is June 1st. It's almost summertime. I am so excited and blessed and grateful. So, I will see you all in the next video. God bless. Have a safe weekend. Bye-bye.